welcome on board. Let's get your Nord board set up. We'll start with what's in the box, the hardware. Your Nord board comes with these parts. A Nord board base unit, two legs, two ankle hooks, a USB cable, a wall charger, which will vary depending on what country you're in, a firmware cable, and two hex wrenches. Now these are different sizes, so make sure you hold on to both of them. Now let's put it all together. Firstly, remove these four bolts from each leg. You can do this by hand. Now slot each leg onto the Nordboard base unit. Make sure the Nordboard logo goes on the outside and watch your fingers while you're doing this. Once a leg is on, put the four bolts back in and use the smaller of the two hex wrenches to tighten them. Make them nice and tight. Finally, screw the ankle hooks into the collars. No need to over tighten these, as you'll probably want to take them off at a later point for transport. And that's all your hardware set up. Now we'll set up your account on Dashboard, our cloud database. This is where you'll control your team and its data. So by now, you should have received an email from admin at voltperformance.com looking something like this. If you have, it means you've either been assigned as primary administrator or administrator for your team. The only real difference is that primary administrators can create other admins. Number one, on dashboard, your email will act as your username. Number two, click on the link to create your password. Your browser will open and bring up the password creation screen. Enter your desired password and click create. This will load the dashboard login screen. Use your email and new password to log in. Once logged in, you'll see the list of all your team's tests. Unsurprisingly, there's nothing in there at the moment. Hover over the gear icon at the top right hand side of the screen and you'll see this menu. Click on view players to view and add players to your team. Again, there won't be any players here yet, so let's create some. Click create player at the top right. Enter your players details here. If you don't know what their knee position is yet, don't worry, we can set that up later once they're on the Nord board. Click create when you're done and you'll see your new player has been successfully created. Repeat this for the rest of your team or if you prefer to set them up on the fly, you can do this later in between tests. Third and finally, let's set up your scoreboard testing app. This is where you'll run your tests and view data in real time as it's collected. Open up your welcome email again and go down to number 4. Choose OS X if you want scoreboard for Mac or choose Windows if you want to install scoreboard on a Windows computer. This will download the scoreboard app. Open up the downloaded file and follow the prompts to install it. Once installed, open up scoreboard and you'll see the login screen. Use the same email and password you set up on dashboard earlier. This will take you to the scoreboard interface. You'll set up and run all your tests from here. If your Nord board's already plugged in and turned on, it will be selectable from the top right menu. Let's assume it's not though. Plug the big end of the USB cable into your computer and plug the small end into the orange box under the Nord board. Now, before you turn your Nord board on, ensure nothing is touching the ankle hooks and they're not being pulled or pushed. If any force is applied to them during startup, the Nord board's readings can be distorted. If this happens, just turn the Nord board off and on again. To turn the Nord board on, hold the power button down for about two seconds. On screen, you'll now see that the Nord board is selectable from the top right hand menu. Select the first player to be tested. Here's the person we created earlier. Or, if you need to create players on the fly, you can click the plus button and fill out the same form we saw on dashboard. If you haven't set a knee position for the athlete, you can do it now. Selecting the correct knee position means your athletes will be able to set up faster in the future and you'll need it for your torque readings to be accurate. It's not mandatory though, and your force readings will be fine without it. So now you're ready to run your first test. Have your athlete get on board and get in a position where the ankle hooks are upright and just touching the top of their shoes. There it is. This is the position the player should start the test in. Hands ready to catch themselves, body straight from the knees up, not too much bend at the hips. They should maintain this body position throughout the test. Press start to begin data collection. 
and you'll see the trace appear on screen. Instruct the athlete to begin the first rep and hold as long as they can, then catch themselves at the end. Repeat this for as many reps as you wish. Three is normal, but scoreboard will count however many you do. You can pause the test at any time, then resume it. But otherwise, if you're happy, press finish. The athlete can move on now, and the next player can get into position. When reviewing a test, if there's a rep you're not happy with, or if you think a false rep was recorded, you can deselect it from the rep list on the right hand side. You'll see the summary scores change to reflect this. This test looks fine though, so we'll leave all three reps selected. If you're not happy with the test, press discard. Otherwise, press upload to save it to dashboard. You'll need an active internet connection to complete the upload. But if you don't, test can queue up and then upload once you re-establish a connection. Once the upload is finished, you can flick across to the dashboard tab to view it. Here you see the player's test we just uploaded. If you tick the box next to one or more tests, you can view summary graphs or export a test report. The dashboard tab shows you exactly what you see if you open dashboard in your browser. So keep in mind you can access this from any computer at a later point if you don't want to deal with it now. Now you're all set up, so go get on board.